Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, this is the project we're going to be making, a cute little uh, Christmas treat that you could put in some little candies or peppermints uh, to have at a table setting or just to have for little gifts to hand out. So, uh, this is the remake of this Halloween treat that I used to put some nerds in. And so we're going to be using some Candy Cane Lane Designer Series paper. And I've cut that just as I did for the Halloween box. This is two and a half by five and a half. And I scored it at one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarter, and five. And then I turned it, and for what you want the bottom to be, you score at three quarters of an inch. If you want to see the project scored and cut in its entirety, you can look right here and see the Halloween project that I put together. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper snips and snip off this bottom little rectangle formed by the intersecting score lines. And then, I think I can see better on this side, I'm going to cut up to that three quarter inch score. This is a tiny box, so it would just hold a few candies, as you and saw in this one, it was just a little box of nerds. But I thought it was really cute and I uh, wanted to do a Christmas version too. Now, I do want to put the pom-pom trim, the mini pom-pom trim up at the top, like I did on the Halloween project. So I'm going to take my Fast Fuse, and I'm also going to get my silicone pad, and I'm not going to put adhesive here on this tab, okay? I'm going to start at that score line and go all the way across the inside, or what is going to be the inside of the box, okay? Then I'm going to take the mini pom-pom trim, it has a little edging there, and I'm going to turn it around so I can see, I'm gonna get it started first. You wanna start it right there at that score line, okay? Now I'm going to turn it around so that I can line it up with the edge. And this is really cute for Christmas. Go all along the top here. And then I'm going to get my scissors and trim that off right there at the edge. Now, where I put my fast fuse, I still have some sticky there. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy and just rub that along there and take away that stickiness, okay, with the powder that's in there. And then I can take my fast fuse and take this tab and put some adhesive. Fold that over and meet this other side. I'm sorry, out of the camera. <laughs> Move in like that. And then I'm going to fold the two side tabs in, the back tab in, and then put some fast fuse on this front tab. And then press, give it a good press. And there it is, isn't that cute? Okay, so just a simple stamped to and from, and I got this from the Cookie Cutter Christmas set. It's this little to and from right here. I'm going to take some, oops, excuse me. I'm going to take some real red ink and stamp that right here. And then I'm going to punch that with a one and one quarter inch circle punch. You probably could do the one inch circle punch. I don't have mine here with me, but there's plenty of room there to punch there. So I'm just making do, and I have the one and a half inch that I'm punching from real red. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this, and then just attach it. And then to add a little bit of an accent, I tied a bow with the two twines from the Candy Cane Lane uh, Twine Duo. And then I'll take a glue dot, adhere it to the back there, put it on the top. And then let's just put it on the front of our, whoops, on the front of our little box with the 
fast fuse. And there you have just a really simple but cute little treat box. And you can see just changing your designer papers changes the whole look. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.